average and marginal costs must be analyzed to determine at which capacity the firm will be more efficient. It is therefore important to understand how they affect the decision-making process of any firm. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, measures output produced, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows average and marginal cost. Average cost is calculated by dividing the specific cost we are considering, C, by the total output produced, X. While marginal cost is the marginal increase in cost C that arises as a result of an increase of one unit of output X. When output increases, the average fixed cost will decrease, since dividing a fixed cost into a greater number of output units makes it smaller. Now, we'll draw the marginal cost curve, which is drawn by analyzing the slope of the total cost curve in the upper graph. As we can see, total cost grows at a decreasing rate, up until the point where the red tangent is parallel to the horizontal axis. From this point onwards, total cost will grow more rapidly. As we can see, marginal cost initially decreases as output is increased. The point where the marginal cost is lowest matches the point where the slope of the total cost curve is equal to zero. From this point onwards, marginal cost increases rapidly. The average variable cost curve measures the average cost per unit of output produced. The average variable cost will decrease as long as the growth rate of the variable cost in the upper graph is decreasing. Its minimum point matches the point where the marginal cost curve crosses the average variable cost curve. From this point onwards, the average variable cost will increase with every extra unit of output produced, as well as the variable cost in the upper graph. We can use the same method as the one used for the variable cost in order to draw the average total cost, which is derived from the total cost curve. The average total cost will decrease as long as the growth rate of the total cost in the upper graph is decreasing. Its minimum point matches the point where the marginal cost curve crosses the average total cost curve. From this point onwards, the average total cost will increase with every extra unit of output produced, as well as the total cost in the upper graph. It's worth mentioning that the average total cost asymptotically approaches the average variable cost because fixed costs are distributed amongst a greater number of units produced. The average and marginal costs must be analyzed in order to determine what level of production is optimal to the firm. Depending on their cost structure, the firm will or will not be able to make some profits, thus the importance of cost analysis.